Cyber Burkett is a pro-Russian cyber hacktivist group that has made notable attacks. Cyber Burkett's main target has been Ukraine, however, Cyber Burkett has attacked other countries. In those attacks, Cyber Burkett's focus was not targeted at those countries, but rather ensuring the support Cyber Burkett believed they were showing to Ukraine was disrupted. Cyber Burkett's main attack method has been distributed denial of service. Cyber Burkett is not a traditional cyber hacker. They are non-state sponsored, which increases the attribution problem and for current cyber security policies to be ineffective. The lack of research done on Cyber Burkett may be attributed to Cyber Burkett's primary focus being on Ukraine, as other nations may not feel they are endangered of a Cyber Burkett attack. However, other nations should not sleep on Cyber Burkett. Cyber Burkett's support of Russia makes any adversary to Russia a potential target. That target pool can also expand as demonstrated in the Ukrainian conflict. If nations are seen supporting other Russian adversaries, for example, an ally nation showing support for the United States, their likelihood of becoming targets is increased. That likelihood will only deepen further if the support is perceived as being linked to the attempt at defeating Russia's part in the situation. Many nations and organizations have taken upon themselves to create cybersecurity policies to protect within their borders, but these are not successful against hacktivist groups like Cyber Burkett. To be successful against Cyber Burkett, nations and organizations need to come together and create joint cooperation on international governance. For all of those who become a part of the international joint cooperative policies, the benefits will outweigh all costs to every single one of them. All of those involved will not only have access to one another's resources, but also be qualified to be covered under the policies that are established when it comes to rules of engagement if a party is attacked. The efforts in the establishment of massive international joint cooperation have been few and far between. The most notable one is the Convention of Cybercrime, which was adopted by the Council of Europe on November 23, 2001. Forty-three countries are currently members of this convention. Even though this convention is not the concrete international joint cooperation policy needed to successfully defend against cyber hacktivist groups, like Cyber Riquette, it is a step in the right direction. On a smaller scale, joint cooperation between nations when it comes to cybersecurity has occurred. With these smaller scale joint cooperations, the motivation and desire to defend one's systems from attack is clearly there. Along with the establishment of concrete international joint cooperation policies, a multinational cyber emergency response team should be established. Cyber emergency response teams have been established in many different areas around the world, but they are only effective within the area they operate. With a multinational cyber emergency response team, this team would be able to investigate multiple nations to determine which ones are behind the attacks and be able to respond to a serious attack regardless of the location, more quickly. Hacktivist groups like Cyber Burkett are not going to go away. They are patriotic hackers who fight for the country they support. They do not stop fighting until they perceive the country they support is victorious. Individual nations and organizations cannot prevent and defend against cyber attacks from hacktivist groups by themselves. Nations and organizations must work together to create a solidified international governance. With this set in stone international governments and multinational cyber emergency response team, cyber hacktivist groups like Cyber Riquette will not attack as they normally would. The cyber hacktivist attacks will decrease significantly due to the new preventative as well as defensive measures that would be implemented. These measures would outmatch a significant amount of cyber hacktivist attacks. Thank you.